Good morning. My name is Leroy, and I'm very happy to do this uh, teaching plan uh, presentation. My training program is called Unleashing the Power of Storytelling in any sales presentation. Like a sales presentation, you may have like 30 minutes, but storytelling is just one small part, but it's a very important component. My training objective is to enable participants to learn and apply two-minute storytelling techniques to in any sales presentation opportunity. So the key word here is two-minute storytelling. Training outcome, increase their sales by using two-minute storytelling techniques. And this is a one full day uh, seminar, uh, nine to five. Module one, the power of storytelling. Steve Jobs says, the most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. Turn to your neighbor and say, the most powerful person, most powerful person. is the storyteller. Story Would you turn to another person and say, you are the storyteller. So we all learn here, okay? okay. Icebreaker is 10 minutes, and then we go to content, which is 80 minutes. First, self-introduction. Now, people are wondering how in the world I got into this storytelling business. So the self-introduction is not about my profile. It's about how I get into storytelling business. Five big reasons why storytelling is powerful. There are five big reasons. And the most powerful reason is because storytelling paints a picture in the mind. When you tell a story, a picture is painted into your mind. And we all know a, a, a painting tells, uh, speaks a thousand words. Storytelling makes stories come alive. And all you need is just one big idea. In a story, you don't give many ideas. One main idea is all you need. And of course, we have the methods. I use group discussion, question and answer. And also, right from the start, the participants in this seminar will have to give a story. They have not gone to training, but they are thrown into the water. So they have come out here and give a two-minute storytelling. So you can realize that they are going to be very confused, but they have to do it, and it's going to be recorded. So that there is a contrast on the first time and then the last time, and they will see remarkable improvement after the training. And so will you be. If you attend my training, you will see an immediate improvement in just one day. Oh, Assessment. So observation on storytelling exercise one. Materials. You see, there is the video camera. So they will be recorded. Flip chart, marker pens, handouts, laptop, PowerPoint, LCD projector, and there was a quote from Steve Jobs. You'll find later on the materials are quite the same. So we'll go very fast from here. Coffee break, 30 minutes. Some people say, why so long? Because now they are scratching in their mind that they are now put into a, a, a situation they have to tell stories. So when they're having their coffee, they're also thinking about the story they're going to tell later. Module two, the science of storytelling. Module one, the power of storytelling. Module two, the science of storytelling. Content, 90 minutes. Go for storytelling, changing audience mindset. It's quite incredible. Two minutes can change a mindset of the audience. I guarantee you it can happen. Just come to my class and you'll see the difference. Finding and collecting stories from different sources. You can go to the internet, but the most powerful story is your own story. Your own, your own memories of stories. When you tell it, it's personalized. Identify, catalog five different types of stories. So we teach them how to catalog stories. And the catalog of the stories can be happy story, sad story, family story, romance story, adventure story. So you can go on and on. But I only ask them to do five. Crafting, unforgettable story using frame principles. Frame principles is when you will come to my class and I'll tell you what is frame. Like this man, he's wearing the frame. So you see, it's how the story is to be framed. 
four essence in creating a powerful story plot. Four essence. You need four essence to make it powerful. So you need the setting, you need the hero and villain, you need the problem and answers, and you need uh, to call for action. So say with me, call for action. Methods, write story plot, role play, lecture. So you see, very fast, in the early part of the seminar, they already are engaged in writing their own story plot. Now what is story plot is synopsis. Like you watch a movie and somebody asks you, what is the story about? You can actually tell the story, not in every detail, but the synopsis, the gist of it. But your friend will tell you, please don't tell me the ending because that is called the spoiler. But for our practice, we want that. We want to, uh, for you to practice this. Role play and lecture. Materials, again, is quite the same, yeah? Like uh, laptop, PowerPoint, and all that. Lunchtime, 60 minutes. Model 3, the art of storytelling. So you have the power of storytelling, the science of storytelling, and now you have the art of storytelling. Can you all read this together? Stories are... Stories are up to 22 times more memorable than facts or figures alone. So you see, in sales presentation, when you're only giving facts, you're not selling. What, what sell? Stories. Look at commercials. How do KFC sell? It's not facts. It's not how good chicken is. It's about the family. It's about the story. And so I can go on and on. So 22 times. Capitalize the two-minute storytelling. Learn the delivery skills of a great storyteller, winning personality, and stage presence. So stage presence is very important because you command attention. That will be 60 minutes, yeah? Methods, again, video clip presentation. Now, this video clip presentation is very interesting because I will be the one who is speaking for two minutes to demonstrate that two minutes is possible. So they get a chance to see me demonstrate. So this is not just theory, it is life. I will demonstrate how I can do it in two minutes. Then after that, the participant will share what they learned from the two-minute demonstration. Then after that, they have to practice the various verbal, non-verbal expression. They will also do mirroring. Mirroring is very important for young learners. Once they know a little bit how to do it, then they are on their own creative expression. Let's, let's try this. Let's try this. Uh, say with me, say with me, God is big. Say with me, God is so big. Say with me, your problem is small. Now, when you say that, there's no impact. So, this art of uh, storytelling tells you about gestures, hand movement. So, when I say, God is so big, your problem is so small, doesn't have impact. But if I say this, God is so big, but your problem is so small. So, you see the impact? God is so big but your problem is so small. So you see, even the voice play a very important part. Materials, again, is quite the same, and we have a quote from Stanford Graduate School about the 22 times more memorable. Then you have coffee break, 30 minutes. Now we come to the last part, module four, the magic of storytelling. What is the magic? Look at the children, they love stories. This is actually us. We also love stories. So when somebody tells the stories, it brings us memories of our own childhood. This is where the emotion comes into play. Who is this man? Martin Luther King, isn't it? And how did he bring America together to rally for liberty by telling stories? So you see, this is the deal clincher. The deal clincher is the story and how to end the story well. And then we have the checklist, some kind of mechanics for them to help to know how to craft the story well. This content is 120 minutes. Why 120 minutes? Because this is the last assessment. Remember in module one, they have to tell a story. Now the last part, they have to tell the story again. But it's a different story, but you will see immediate remarkable transformation from one who stammer in storytelling to one who has mastered some basic skills, but they're good enough to go. Method, storytelling exercise, lecture, assessment, observation. This is uh, exercise number two. And then we'll end with question and answers. Materials, again, video camera. So they are videotaped. So you see, 
First time they do video tape, second time they do video tape, and then we have professionals like Brian, while we are having this 120 minutes, he will go behind and then he's begin to bring the two, uh, the two videos together. So when people watch it, they see, wow, the first time I did like that, second time is remarkable. Okay, so assessment, materials, and uh, let's do this. Let's do this. This is a very powerful image. Turn to your neighbor and say, this is very powerful. Now, point to me, point to me and say, this is very powerful. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.